Okay, guys. So here's a funny thing that happened. And hopefully this actually gets recorded. If it does, you're going to know because you're, you're looking at it. But I posted on my Instagram that I was going to be reviewing the, uh, the Paris Midnight Maduro by Benavides Cigars. Now, just to give you a little bit of, uh, you know, background without going too much into it. I was at Center Cigar Club. I got to meet these really great guys, Marvin and Eduardo, and they have a company called Benavides Cigar. Marvin Benavides is the owner, and they've been around since 2013, and they're from Nicaragua. They use a lot of, obviously, Nicaraguan tobacco in their cigars, my favorite. And uh, so, yeah, they did a little cigar tasting there, and they handed me a handful of cigars. Obviously, I was super stoked about that. And uh, so I started... <laughs> shooting the video doing my usual intro and i went into all that information and i was being my silly self and whatnot and i don't know what the hell happened um the software for my editing uh, the, the, the so my editing software updated try and get that out and i started shooting a video and i had like it said 14 minutes recorded so i recording for over 14 minutes and I'm going to stop to kind of smoke down the cigar and do the next segment. And what happens is it says this is not supported. Whatever the fuck that means. I have no idea. But uh, you're watching Dad Smoking Cigars, sponsored by StogieLives.com and Casa Cueva Cigars. And my from our casa to yours, etc., etc., etc. Blah, 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 blah. This is a cigar from Benavides. <laughs> the Paris Midnight. And uh, it's... Pretty good so far. I've had some draw issues, not as much smoke as I'd like, and it's burning a little bit hot even all the way up to the band. That's what I came up with so far, and I was gonna kind of like smoke it down, blah, 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 and then, you know, I've already done some stuff, and yeah, so far, I like the flavor of the cigar. <laughs> but it just, just suffice it to say, this is gonna be a really unusual review video, but you're watching another no bullshit review, and all that just happened, so, um, yeah, I'm smoking this cigar. I'm having some troubleshooting with it, but I'm hoping that it kind of like opens up a little bit more and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So far, the cigar is good. Just had some performance issues. <laughs> but <laughs> hopefully, this actually records. Because if it doesn't, I'll be really disappointed. And I have to tell you guys that I'm once again out of another Friday video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully, I don't have any more technical issues. But uh, yeah, I've smoked about this much of the cigar. And uh, flavor's good, draws a little uh, a little tight, and I'm not getting as much smoke as I uh, not as getting as much smoke as I like out of it. I can't talk apparently because I'm just trying to. Bleh. But um, I hope you guys found all that entertaining at least. <laughs> I had to rush through the first part of the video because the first part didn't record. So, but uh, yeah, it's it's got some really great stuff in the cigar and. Uh, what I mentioned before but didn't get recorded is that it has a uh, Habano Criollo uh, wrapper from Ecuador, uh, Corojo Nicaragua binder, um, Seco Criollo Nicaragua, Viso Corojo Nicaragua, and Ligero Criollo Nicaragua, all, all of that is filler. So that's the blend of the cigar, which kind of threw me for a loop but got me really, really excited. So the flavor is good, the blend is pretty great, I'm just having some uh, issues with the performance and all that kind of stuff so um but hey just gotten started with the cigar i had to rush into all of that and tell you about all my funds in techno land and trying to record content and hopefully this actually gets recorded because i will be really sad and disappointment disappointed it will be a disappointment if it doesn't <laughs> oh my gosh you guys are probably looking at me like what the hell is going on with this guy i don't know but stuff happens, and I still really wanted to record a video for you guys. So there is the condensed version of the first bits of my thoughts about this cigar. So, yeah, that's just me losing my mind and hoping that everything works out in the end. <laughs> oh, gosh. Still having some trouble with the draw. But being, being honest, um, not as much smoke as I'd like. The draw's a little tight. Flavor's good. No problem with the flavors. But uh, I'm hoping it kind of opens up more as, as time goes on. Like, it's not burning hot anymore, thankfully. I think just there was just a bunch of heat going, getting trapped in there, and now it's kind of released. So that's good. That's really good. So, <laughs> oh, technology, it's supposed to work for you, and it just decides to quit on you and give up. Great. Love it. Cut. Print. Check the gate. Moving on.
What a difference a little bit of time can make. And I gotta say, the flavors of the cigar have opened up beautifully to this chocolatey dream. I'm serious, and I'm not even playing around. Because like I said, beginning of the cigar, troubleshooting, draw, um, getting too hot to you know to touch or anything like that. Still a little bit more warm towards the burn. You know, I've had cigars where I've had like my fingers right below the burn, and actually it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It gets a little hot the longer your fingers uh, stay there, but the cigars cooled down, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, the flavors have opened up nicely. I kind of had a little bit of water to cleanse the palate, open it up nicely. The retro hail got a little bit spicy, but that's not a bad thing at all. Whew! Spicy retro hail, but oh, that opens it up so nice, so tasty. Just a chocolatey, a little bit of spice, just mm, delicious. You know, burn is staying pretty good. Couple of uh, peaks and valleys, but overall stay consistent. Construction's really good, nice and solid. <clears throat> draw still is a little tight. I've tunneled the cigar a little bit with my perfect draw, just to kind of open it up a little bit more. It's definitely helped. Um, not, still not as much smoke as I'd like. I would love a little bit, you know, some thicker clouds of smoke, but I don't know if I'm going to get that before the very end. The, sm the smoke is decent though. I'm not at all saying like, oh, the smoke's terrible. It's not. Definitely not terrible. Smoke is still pretty decent. Draw is still just a little tight. I'm having to work a little bit to get some smoke out. But at the same time, it's still a very delicious cigar. The flavors are just incredible. And they're smooth and nice and just a little bit of earthiness, a little bit of hay, some sweetness. I think that's kind of where the sweetness is coming from, the hay, a little bit of chocolateness, some spice. There's a lot going on in the cigar, and I'm digging it. Definitely digging it. You know, first part, again, a little bit difficult, um, having some issues, but those issues are clearing up uh, more and more as I smoke it, and it is a delight to smoke. Halfway through it right now, and I'm just enjoying the flavor, and I'm enjoying how relaxed I am, and yeah, this is definitely... A very well crafted cigar as far as the blend and construction is concerned I just think this one might have been rolled a little bit too tight that's really it um, after all is said and done you know having to a little bit of a tightly rolled cigar if there's ways to kind of counter that it really doesn't mess with the experience experience too much so yeah I'm still very much enjoying this as I continue to smoke it and yeah that's pretty much it at this point it's got a delightful aroma. I think that has a lot to do with the Seiko leaves. But, uh, yeah. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Well, I must say, things have continued to develop beautifully. I did tunnel the cigar just a little bit more. Just gave it a little bit more of a dig with my, uh, with my perfect draw. I, I gotta say, I love this thing. And I'm grateful to my dad for getting it for me for, uh, not last Christmas, but the one before and it, this thing comes through in a pinch the flavor construction and burn as i said awesome fantastic very well done the blend of the cigar just mm, i'm loving just the the aftertaste and aroma are perfect just because it's not bitter it's like a subtly sweet aftertaste it's very just smooth and rich and, and it's even a little creamy um but uh more smoke output is coming through the cigar now that I've kind of given a little bit of a dig uh, a couple times actually and it's just it's it's performing just fantastic just lovely starting to get a little bit of hot hot to the taste as it's coming towards the end here not sure depending I, I might let it sit again see if it like quote cools and that way I can try and get it as far down to the nub as possible because th I believe this cigar to be some you know what some would call nub worthy uh, a cigar that you really should smoke down to the very last bit and get everything you can out of it because it is a delicious cigar. Aside from other performance issues, again, no, you know, this is the no bullshit cigar review and I'm not going to fuck around on this because I, I want to give my honest assessment. Even if it's a brand new, like new to me uh, brand, boutique brand, and, and you guys know that I pretty much exclusively go with boutiques here. I don't tend to uh, do many um, bigger name cigars 
only because I want to try and bring attention to brands that a lot of you may have not ever heard of or tried before. And now I hope that you will try Benavides after me talking about this cigar. And I got four more to smoke, guys. Four more. I'm excited. I'm really excited to go through more of them. Um, and yeah, it's it's. I, I have a feeling it's going to be a great ride these next few weeks. And I hope you'll stick with me on these next few weeks. And I hope you will look into Benavides and try to get your hands on some. There's no websites or any other place that you can purchase them. You're going to have to probably just go straight through the Instagram, which I will leave a link in the description. If you're listening on podcast, I will leave uh, information in the show notes. Um, but it is, yeah, I am excited to try even more of well, all of the Benavides because I have all of them with me. Um, and yeah, this I'm just I'm 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 very grateful that I got to meet these guys and I'm getting to try these fantastic smokes. But the uh, Midnight uh, Paris Maduro or Paris Midnight <laughs> yeah Paris Midnight uh, Maduro is a, a delicious cigar and it is just the blend is killer. The flavor is delicious and yeah. Aside from performance issues that I think that just may have been like every few cigars you know how it is you can be smoking the same brand for years every now and then you'll get one that's a little wonky a little weird maybe it even just blows up on you it happens sometimes and it 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 is nothing uh takes nothing away from the love and just dedication that is put into creating these cigars but sometimes there's just one in the batch that just kind of is a little bit off and i think this one was just a slightly off again a little bit too tight of a draw Smoke output wasn't as much as I like, but everything else was just great, and it got better and better as I smoked it. I'm honestly getting really excited. Um, this is so much fun for me, and I hope you guys are having fun too. And I really hope you will try Benavides in the very near future. I'm I'm seriously getting just more and more excited. I'm 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 very grateful that I got to meet uh, Marvin and uh, Eduardo. You guys, mil gracias, amigos. I am just very grateful. Thank you so much for. Um, handing over some of your beautiful cigars to me so i could try them and review them i hope to bring a lot of attention to your brand because it is definitely a brand that is worth um it's just worth picking up and trying and making part of a regular rotation so very excited guys anyway guys i hope you guys had fun watching the review especially my little you know going nuts right there at the beginning because just for whatever reason my you know yeah, my editing software was being a little bit weird and recording and stuff like that. But hey, you know, these things happen and still got a review and I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys. Once again, thanks to the gentleman at Benavides and I hope you guys will check him out. But other than that, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this cigar. But you guys take care. Stay smoky. This is definitely uh, Dad Smoking Cigars approved. Um, But anyways, guys, thank you again, and I will catch you in the next one. Hey, guys, thanks again for tuning into this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and also follow Dad Smoking Cigars on dads underscore smoking underscore cigars on Instagram, and be sure to check us out on Facebook. Until then, guys, stay smoky, and I'll see you in the next one.